And now, a Foundry review brought to you by ChatGPT. Check the description for more information. Hey there fellow gamers, welcome to Lawrence Plays, where today I'm diving into the cubetastic world of Foundry, a game that's like Factorio Minecraft had a baby on Steam's Next Fest event. Picture this, Factorio meets Minecraft and voila, you've got Foundry. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let me just say, I've clocked in a whopping 2,000 hours on Factorio, so when I jumped into Foundry, I felt right at home. Well, almost. Sure, they've renamed Iron to Xenoferrite and Copper to Technum, but the whole automation dance? Familiar territory. But watch out, my muscle memory was in for a wild ride. Let's talk aesthetics, shall we? Foundry's world is a delightful mishmash of cartoony goodness and strangely satisfying landscapes. Giant mushrooms, rocky oddities and rolling hills. It's a sight to behold. I chose to blend my factory with the natural contours, burying foundations so it felt like it grew from the ground. But hey, beauty subjective. Some might prefer the factory imposing its will on nature. Ah, the joys of exploration. Patches of ores peeking out, just begging to be plundered. Initially, it felt like Factorio, but with a twist. I mean, who doesn't love a good ore ping? And don't get me started on my little underground coal mine, a whole new world of possibilities. Explosive excitement, anyone? When I needed to unearth minerals deep down, I didn't shy away from explosives. Blast away, my friends, and spiral belts up from the depths. Still, a more efficient mining drill would be a game changer. Explosions are fun, but not when they're surprising. Progression, my friends. Starting small, growing big, it's the classic gaming tale. With every science pack unlocked, Foundry felt like a perfectly balanced dance. And hey, I didn't mind setting up machines by hand. It was more like a well choreographed performance. Power struggles, anyone? Foundation plates for power. A blessing and a curse. No messy cables, but oh, the struggle to keep them connected. And let's not even talk about extending power to outposts. High voltage lines save the day, but a smoother system would be electrifying. Construction headaches, anyone? Planning your design, digging foundations, it's like building a real masterpiece. But, I won't lie, miscounting machine sizes made me wish for an easier way. Maybe a tool to transform earth into foundation blocks in a snap. First person view, immersive, but occasionally maddening. Getting up close and personal with your factory is great, but not when you find your face buried in machinery. A third person view, please. Building shouldn't require a personal bubble invasion. Distance matters, folks. Unlike some games, Foundry demands proximity. No more building from a safe distance, you've got to get in there. And oh, configuring machines, a tad too close for comfort. Interface quirks, anyone? Those pesky blue arrows and building ghosts, they invaded my space. A bit of polish here could make a world of difference. Let's make the UI as sleek as our factories. Wrapping up, I gotta say, Foundry's like the promising artist in a workshop, still finding its style. Early access means room for growth, and despite the quirks, I had a blast. Keep an eye on this one, folks. It's shaping up to be a cubetastic adventure. Played the demo? Share your thoughts below. Catch my stream for the juicy details, and hey, subscribe for more gaming goodness. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, keep gaming with style.